Hi, hi, hi. I can like see shapes, what colors. I had some airwaves come and it's just really opened up my lungs and it's just like, whoa. That's this is good. what colors smell like. <laughs> um, hello and welcome to another podcast. Uh, we didn't do a podcast in South Africa. But we were busy. flat out busy, yeah. Most of the time. I mean, there was a couple of evenings where we just sat and read for like two hours, but... I mean, yeah, but know. like at the same time, it was kind of like there was no quiet place Yeah, to do stuff, but... Welcome back! How you been? Hope you've been good. Uh, we will do a South Africa special podcast. Yeah. Maybe, if you're keen for that. We did blogs, uh, which we will leave a link to under this podcast. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. The, the South Africa blog, or not, the South Africa podcast will be like an extra podcast if we do it. Yep. Like, I don't want to just annoy people with... Yeah, I mean, if you're not interested, you're not interested. Yeah. It was great. We had fun. We survived. It was very busy. Our fears were... <clears throat> Not as bad as we thought they were going to be. I've just ruined my voice. Yeah, and basically then, what we feared happened happened, but like, <coughs> we survived. <coughs> like it was. Yeah, and it was still enjoyable. Yeah. And we want to go back, please, and thank you. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, as we are speaking, we have just got off the bus, like literally 10 minutes ago, from doing a triathlon. The in Belfast. Belfast Titanic triathlon. And it was okay. Yeah, it was, it was decent. Like, last year we did the... Belfast Triathlon and it was our first ever big triathlon and it was horrifying yeah I had flashbacks I didn't like just looking at the course yesterday I was kind of going I can't do this 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 is awful I remember how bad this was last year I can't do it but, yeah. did it. but it was it was it was okay we, we survived yep survived it um yeah uh during the swim I was like I, I said out loud I'm never doing another triathlon as long as I live and I think I might I need to get more open water swimming though because it is horrendous swimming in open water. Yeah. And cold and salty and but anyway, yeah. Not that's... a fan of the old open water, but you know, well you you just have to get over that and get used to it. Yeah. It's the only way you're gonna be good at it. Uh, what else has been happening? We did Holy Bible Club this year and Chloe and I were air quotes in charge. Yeah, we were we were in control. Yep. Yeah. And that the was the main of... leaders. Yeah. The big bosses. Yeah. The secret agents. Well, that wasn't the drama, but like yeah. in real life, we were in charge. It's weird it though, because we're one of the youngest ones and everybody was sort of looking to us and we're like, oh, help. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, guys, what do you think we should do for this? And it's like, oh, you're in charge. Oh, okay. It's fine. We'll just deal with that. But it was a good, good week. And I think we did okay. Yeah. Uh, Kids seem to enjoy it at least. Yep. And I enjoyed myself. And the adults seem to enjoy it I too. had a good time and I think that's all that matters really. I mean there are more important things in a holiday bible club than I just mean, having a good time. But... I mean, uh, no I had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, if you're ever in South Africa you have to try the wine gums. Yeah. Um, because they are unreal. They have ruined me. Yeah. No wine gums will ever compare to South, to South African, African wine, wine gums. gums. We need to get more. We need to just Bulk ship them in. on Amazon or yeah. eBay or something. Yeah. yeah. And they are Maynards. It's not like there's some weird brand. Yeah, they're just like South African Maynards. Yeah. Also, Cadbury's is different out there. Yeah, it tastes different. Yeah. You can get white chocolate, like um, the Cadbury Dream. Cadbury's yeah. Dream. You can get that out there. And, oh, man, I have missed that chocolate. It's unreal. We still have two bars downstairs. Oh, do we? I keep forgetting about them. And then I look oh, at them and I'm like, oh, no one will save it. But we have that. We're going out to South Africa at some point again. I'm saying before the end of 2019. Okie dokie. Um, but I mean, we don't have long because their summer starts soon and I don't think I could I'll deal with yeah. like 30 plus degree heat. But yeah. you know, we'll see. we'll see. I found out over the past couple of weeks that um, I like to talk on buses, but it's only because whenever I'm sitting on a bus, I realise how uncomfortable my tongue is in my mouth. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, I can't take this anymore. I'm going to have to talk and move my tongue. And just, like, I don't know, I just sit there and my tongue's just sitting in my mouth and it's like, it's not, it's not even comfortable. It's not just, <laughs> it's just not, it's just... Is your tongue ever comfortable in your mouth? Like, do you ever, ever not, forget about it? Yeah, no, like, whenever you forget about it, yeah, that's fine. But just sometimes on a bus, I just become, like, hyper aware of it. And I'm like, I'm just gonna, I can't, what it's about, just... What about on airplanes? Is it okay? I don't know, airplanes are okay, because I'm just kind of like, I'm on a plane. <laughs> like, this is unnatural. 
Fair enough. This shouldn't tin can. happen. Let's not get into airplane discussions like we did last time. Let me. That was a great. That oh. was a great side segue. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say that our last podcast was possibly one of the best we've ever done. Um, speaking about planes, though, and not to go on about it, there were two crying childrens on the plane home from South Africa, and it was equally heartbreaking and also annoying. If that makes sense. I was ready to cry. I was ready to cry. Because the children were crying and annoying me, and also because I was like, those poor parents, they must feel so bad. It's okay, guys. But also, you know, ugh. And I mean, it was no one's fault, and I'm not blaming anyone, but, you know, you can't deny that crying kids is, is annoying. But, sure, there you go. What can you do? At least now I won't feel so bad in cafes and stuff. I'll be like, I can leave at any point I want. I am not stuck here. I can get up and move out. I still got on wedding cake in a cafe this week because there was a crying child and I was like, I just want to enjoy my scrambled egg on toast, guys. <coughs> but yeah, um, we were speaking about bus journeys there a minute ago and oh, I wish I could drive sometimes because like, yeah, okay, buses make me independent and that's fantastic. But like, what I wouldn't have given whenever we arrived back from South Africa is my mum and your daddy just being like, I'll meet you at the airport. Because yeah. everybody else's mummy and daddy did and it was really sad that we had to get the bus and it took us like an extra six hours to get home. Yeah, it was like 34 <sighs> hours of travelling, which was pretty horrendous to be honest. It was pretty grim. I used to have fantasies about having my own wee car. And then I went back to the opticians and they said that my eyesight wasn't good enough. We should get you glasses sorted tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good plan. Maybe I could, maybe I could see if I had glasses. Like maybe I could see far enough to get a car. What a wee car! I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. You know what else I think about on buses? I just think of random things. Like imagine being. <laughs> I can't say this. Is my mom. <laughs> imagine being so angry that you just. <laughs> Imagine being so angry that you just projectile vomit everywhere. Like, I don't know. Like, imagine just be, like, have you ever been that angry but you're trying to hold it in? And you're just like, oh, I could just, oh, I could just. And then you just feel it in your throat and you're like, mm, I could just book all of you. <laughs> I mean, that would be incredible because that would show your annoyance. Like, that would annoy the person so much. Like, even the smell of book is just. Yucky. Yeah, let's not talk about book, that's what we bet. Okay, sorry. Gross. <laughs> Just a teensy bit. Loud burps annoy me too. Chloe leaned across on the bus today and went to say something and as she leaned, as she moved, she burped really loudly and I thought she was going to book on me and it was just... I mean, burps are funny, but also really gross. And... Yeah. Sometimes they're funny, but a lot of the time I'm just like, ugh, why do you have to burp so loud? I I try and do little, little quiet ladylike burps just to eat. Pardon me. <laughs> I sometimes do that, but then other times I'm just like, I'm just going to let rip. Yep, like Buddy the Elf style yeah. burps. And if you don't get that reference. Just, I, just pause this podcast and go watch Elf. Yeah, I was going to say you don't belong here, but everybody belongs here. You're welcome. You're welcome here. Everybody is welcome at this podcast. We were meant to watch more Line of Duty over the past like three weeks and we haven't, so we're stuck on series three. Yeah. It is an excellent series, guys, and if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. It's on Netflix. And it's is it on it's, it's I don't no think it's on, I don't think it's on BBC Netflix. Player anymore. Can I check? Yeah, you can check. Um Meanwhile I'll just do a wee random thought here. Yep, go for it. Um, um, nighttime is the natural state of the universe. And right enough. Like, all oh, I'm gonna say is thank goodness for that flaming ball star thing that we call the sun. Don't look at the sun to thank it, but like, you know, whenever you say thank you to people, you're supposed to look at them, but don't look at the sun in the face and say thank you because you'll end up like me and Judith. Not that that's how we ended up, like, like seeing what we can see. Like, I mean, I look at the sun all the time, and I mean, I don't think it's been detrimental to my vision. 
Not that I'm saying you should go look at the sun now and be like, well, it's not detrimental to Chloe's vision, so I'll just look at the sun too. Don't do that because that's just stupid. Like if I said jumping off a cliff wasn't detrimental to me, it doesn't mean you should go and jump off a cliff because that's silly. It's not BBC iPlayer, do you know? Um, series 5 is on BBC iPlayer, but none of the previous seasons are on there. Um, do you know, what's your favourite animal? A dog. Why? Because they're loyal and soft and cute and they're always happy to see you and they have cute little noses and nice ears and I like my dog the best. Why? I was just wondering. Ah, okay. Uh, yesterday. You want to know my favourite animal? What? A duck. Why? Because it's the ultimate animal. Why? Because it can do land and water and air. Like can ducks fly? No, yeah, ducks can fly. What about geeses? Goose? Well, yeah, but just geese. ducks are better. Geese. Geese! Like a goose is just like a giant duck. And honestly, ducks are better looking. Can swans fly? I don't... Like, I think they can fly maybe a bit. Oh, swans freak me out. <laughs> Why? So they're massive and just they sound like, I don't know, like a constipated meh, duck. Meh, 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 meh. Yeah, yeah. They're just... I don't know. I always find them well rare. Prefer a duck. Okay. But, like, why are rubber ducks yellow and normal ducks are... Are normal ducks green? Is that a thing or is that a cartoon thing? Ducks are different colours. Like brown and green. And like, then... baby ducks can be yellow. Yeah. I mean, so baby you can get different coloured, like, cuddly toy dogs. You can get, like, blue dogs. Like, you know. Yeah, no, but that's ridiculous. Let's be real. Everyone knows there are no blue dogs. But ducks have confused What about, about because... Blue from Police Clues? Ah. Uh, and there's red dogs too because there's Clifford, the big red dog. Oh, you're right. Oh, I've got this so wrong. Clifford needed Emily. <laughs> Love made Clifford grow so big. She clearly <gasps> hated her parents. <laughs> <laughs> and her friends. <coughs> Are you okay? There was a purple dog in Clifford too. Oh yeah, the poodle. The wee rare poodle. Oh, there was, ye was there a yellow one? Am I wrong about that? I don't know, but Pal and Arthur's yellow. Oh yeah, yeah. So there are many, many coloured dogs. Mm -hmm. I can't think of a green dog though. There I probably is out there. There probably is out there somewhere. Probably on Paw Patrol. If you know a green dog, please send us a picture. <laughs> please tweet us at sket underscore twins. Um, I was gonna. Oh yeah, we saw a cute dog yesterday at the park whenever we were babysitting. It was a wee, I think it was a it wasn't lab. yesterday, it was Friday. Yeah, Friday. All the days have merged into one. Yeah, <laughs> but it was really cute. It was like black with a wee white beard, like a wee, just a wee smudge of white down its front. And it was about up to my, halfway up my calf. It was a wee tiny thing. And it looked like a, it looked like a Labrador, but it was like long haired. So maybe a Labrador retreat, golden retreat. It was so cute. You talked about your legs there and it just reminded me of this morning at the triathlon because we were trying to get our bike seats the right height and everybody laughed at me because I was like, yeah, Judith has longer legs than me. I have a longer back. And everybody was like, ha! And I was like, guys, it's true. <laughs> guys, I have the shorter... Guys, fix my seat, please. <laughs> and then they fixed my seat and they were like, you do have shorter legs. And I was like... <laughs> You thought I was lying? I thought you had longer legs than me. Maybe I do, but I had to get my bike seat lowered. Okay. I could have done with mine a wee bit higher, in all honesty, but there you go. I mean, I could have done with mine a bit higher, but at the time I was kind of like, oh, whoops. It, that's great, thanks. It's really good. <laughs> it's really good, yeah. I've said that so much about South Africa because I don't know what to say, apart from this class. Incredible. Monumental. Would go back. Uh, eating on buses is illegal. I know we've touched on this subject before, but it really is. Um, please don't do it. Someone on the bus home was eating an orange, and I appreciate that you're trying to be healthy. I appreciate that you're trying to uh, do good things and eat fruit, but uh, it's stinking. So the bus is not the place to do that. Uh, I'm glad it wasn't a banana. And then someone else was whistling the Game of Thrones theme tune. I feel like they were getting um, it wrong too. Like, I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I know that that is not the right tune. Maybe they weren't. Maybe it wasn't. No, 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 it was. Like, they got, like, the first maybe, like, two bars right. Yeah. They got the do-do-do-do-do-do. They got, like, that bit. And then it went off. And then, I don't know, I swear it was, like, Clifford or Friends or something they went into then. 
Like, it was just not the right tune. But they just kept on going over and over and over and over again. I was like, just stop. Maybe it was a mad mashup they were doing. Maybe. But yeah, no, I agree. Whistling on buses is not okay. I mean, talking on buses is fine. But, like, like not keep it really. to yourself, yeah. too. Like, no one else needs to hear your conversation. Especially if it's in a different language. <laughs> Maybe that's why they were shouting they were complaining about us. We weren't doing anything on the bus, though. Maybe we were eating snacks, but it was, like, cereal bars and stuff, which doesn't smell bad. Yeah. But, yeah. We had to buy bowls yesterday because we wanted to have cereal in the hotel. And so we went to Poundland and got bowls because that's how we roll. Yep. 10 out of 10. We always have our own spoons though, but most hotels have spoons because they do tea and coffee and stuff. But I think I think hotel rooms should invest in wee side plates and cereal bowls. I would just like to apologise to Premier Inn um, because I, I, have, I have taken one of your teaspoons. Oh. I thought it was mine. It is very similar to mine. Mine is just better quality. <laughs> I did take one of your teaspoons. I will return it at some point. I'm very sorry. It's, it's a decent teaspoon. I'm I'm sure they appreciate your apology. You know what's weird? What? Whenever you're a child and you fall asleep, you fall asleep in the car or whatever and you'll wake up in your bed and you're sort of like, oh, that's pretty cool. See if you did that as an adult. How freaked out would you be? You, that would be terrifying, actually. <laughs> Fall asleep on the sofa and wake up in your bed and you're like, how did I get here? I live alone. <laughs> yeah, especially if you lived alone. Or you lived with someone who was like, I'm not that strong. I can't lift yeah. you. And you just live okay. Yeah, that'd be creepy. Yeah. Especially for me, I don't think I'm a deep, particular, and I was going to say, I don't think I'm a particularly deep sleeper, but you have evidence to prove against that. Yeah. Well, not like, evidence, but you have your, your own experiences. In South Africa, I got up to pee and there was someone in our room and they were snoring and it was just like, I was actually so cross, but like not cross enough to do anything about it. But I went to pee and um, before I got back into my bed, I up here curled up next to Judith for a good five minutes hoping she'd wake up and give me a hug and say, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> and she didn't wake up. I'm really sorry. Did and you... I, I hugged her and I poked her and I licked her arm. That's really gross. And she I didn't did... wake up. I don't appreciate you licking my arm. I thought you were just grumpy at me at the start and then I was like, if I lick her arm, she'll either slap me or like not wake up. And you didn't wake up and I was like, oh, flip me, she's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought you were just going to be annoyed at me. Just be like, I can hear it too. And I'm annoyed too. So go back to sleep. I had blocked up ears and yeah. a snuffy nose and stuff. So I couldn't hear it and I was just out to the world. Every morning, um... The other girls in our room had alarms set. <coughs> and I don't think I heard. I know I did. I did hear some of them, but I don't think I heard them as loud as everyone else did because everyone else was like, "That alarm scared the life out of me." I just sort of woke up slowly, and like it was like coming to the surface of water. Like that's yeah. that's how my I was always awake worked. before the alarms went off. I wasn't generally. I might have been half awake. There was maybe. one morning your alarm went off and you didn't wake up. I went and turned it off. Well, I didn't turn it off. I turned the volume down because I couldn't oh, fair enough. turn it off. Um, but everyone was sort of like, whose alarm's that? And I was like, I think it's Judith. And everyone was like, Judith, Judith. Oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I'm affronted. <laughs> and I was like, I need to pee anyway. I'll just turn it off on my way past. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> was that the same night that you curled in next to me? No, it was oh, like darn. at the beginning of the week. <laughs> darn. Um, I think you did tell me that, but you didn't tell me that everyone else heard it too. Um, so I'm affronted. Well, I don't think it was everyone else. I think it was maybe Hannah. Yeah. Uh, but after that, I put my alarm under my pillow. But yeah, that's, that's embarrassing. It's not overly embarrassing. I wouldn't be. I'm affronted. How do you wash carpets? Because you know if carpets get wet mm -hmm. and then they smell damp. You just Surely have to wash them. You just have to put them in a warm place. Like, turn on the radiators. But like... But... And then get a dehumidifier. Ah, uh, okay. You're pulling funny faces at me. Because I had to burp. <laughs> I was like, can't make it loud, can't make it quiet. But that's that's quite... Okay, so... What if I had to wash a carpet and there was no radiator? What if I had to... Hair dryer. Hair dryer. Just get a hair dryer. Or you could use a cleaning vacuum cleaner. Oh, yeah. Does that dry it, though? I mean, it might leave it a wee bit damp, but, like, if it's clean, then it'll dry eventually. Like, it's basically, like... As long as it's not, like, a pure cold, cold room... Yeah, so only wash your carpets in summer, guys. Top tip. Or or turn on the heating. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a thing. houses have heating. Yeah. 
Oh, I get it. Um, I'm really behind on YouTube su subscriptions and I'm starting to debate, like, is it worth it? Yeah. Because I'm subscribed to about 60 YouTube channels and some of them don't make videos anymore and some of them I don't even bother watching the videos anymore. They maybe yeah, made like two or three good ones and then just stopped. Yeah, but then there's some of them and it's sort of like, it's like Buzzfeed ones and it's sort of like, no, well, I mean like one in ten of those videos I'll actually watch. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's some good ones there. But it's like, uh, yeah. Yeah, do I just start a new YouTube thing and then just Google videos sometimes, like search? Yeah, I was going to say, like, if they're, if they're going to be decent, like, I'll look them up or, like, I'll see them on Twitter because I'll follow them on Twitter or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. You know what's difficult? Finding decent shoes at a decent price. Amen. Amen. Although, to be fair, we've got ones, like, off Amazon and stuff for, like, a tenner. And they, they are, are pretty, pretty good. good. I don't know that I would run a triathlon in them, like, but they're good for walking. Yeah. But then again, at the same time, like, really all you need is a cheap pair of shoes and a good pair of insoles. That is preaching the truth right there. That's incredible. That's although, so deep. Although, to be fair, you could buy, like, insoles at, like, £20. Pound. Although, if, you, if you're buying Asics or whatever, you could pay up to, like, £100 for them. I wish I could afford a £100 trainers, like... At the same time, though, I'd never wear them. I'd be like, no, they're too good. Like, I have a pair of Asics out, like, out on the stairs, out there, and I paid £20 for them. And I still don't want to wear them, because I'm like, no, but they're really, they're good Asics. Or yeah. Asics. Wear them to the gym. Yeah. And, and do training in them. Because, I mean, it's like Kevin McAllister said. You know, you buy a pair of roller skates, you wear them two or three times in your bedroom. I keep them in the box under your bed, and then you try them on again, you've grown out of them, you've just wasted I know, them. but that's children, like adults, your feet generally don't <laughs> grow anymore. Like, your whole body doesn't, like, that's one of the your perks. Your ears and your nose. That's grow. one, of, oh, I suppose, but I was going to say, that's one of the perks of being an adult. Like, you just, I could just wear these clothes forever. Like, provided I sort of exercise and don't. So you'd be like the Simpsons? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, obviously, my clothes would sort of edge and get all raggedy. That's fall true. apart eventually. Yeah. But I mean, the Simpsons do have wardrobes full of the same clothes. True. I mean, imagine being that obsessed with the clothes you wear. Like, just, I love this outfit. I love this orange dress. I'm, I'm going to wear, wear it for the rest of my life. Forever. And as I get older, I'm going to wear a slightly different style. style. <laughs> but it's still going to be the exact same. Yeah. We do a listener quite... Susan um, from Texas, the best person ever. Well, Miami. Love. Oh yeah, from Miami now. Um, but she's the best person ever. Um, she wants to know what the deal with scones is. Scones. Or scones, whatever. Like, why do you put stuff on it? I don't. I don't know whether to say. I say scones generally, but I, I say was just scones. saying scones to sort of have that wee bit of diversity. Yeah. But like, I like a plain scone. Yeah. But like I don't get plain with nothing on it and nothing yeah. in it, not as in like airplane Like maybe, scones. maybe like heated and then like maybe a wee bit of butter on it, but like, or flora. We like the bread. Um, but like, I don't get the idea of like a fruit scone or like a strawberry and white chocolate scone. Like why yeah. would you, why would you tamper with perfection? Plain scones are good. Yeah. I only rediscovered them at our coffee morning a couple of weeks ago. Like a month ago. Like a month ago, yeah. Um. Yeah, it was a fresh scone, like near enough out of the oven, like out of the oven within the hour. Yeah, and it was still warm, and it was it was very very good. Top marks to Anne, Great British Bake Off. Here you come. Um, it's one of those things. So you, sometimes, like, to be in the Great British Bake Off, sometimes I think I could do that, and then I'm kind of like, but I'm only good at one thing. Yeah, like Paul Holly would be like, yeah, your bread is top notch. See everything else. Rubbish. Just, just, just chuck it in the bin. Just leave. Yeah. Yeah. I also don't know what half the things are that they do in the Great Bake Off. I know they're like, let's go make some baklava, and it's like, my back is fine, thanks. <laughs> just bring out a balaclava. Just I knitted this one. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I w I wouldn't have enough like general baking knowledge to get through. Although if I we... press the side button, will it unlock the screen? Yeah, that was terrifying. Yeah. Um... Sorry, we were talking about baking. Yes, we should bake again soon. Yeah, should do we bake off? We learned some things in South Africa, and we should bake some South African goods. We're talking about South Africa a lot, and I always feel bad, but also it's pretty much the most exciting thing that's happened to me yeah. in the past I mean, year. We're not going in depth. We're sort of dipping in and out of South Africa. Yeah. So if you want to hear more about that, please let us know, because otherwise we won't do it because we'll feel bad for spamming you with it. Yeah. So 
do let us know at skit underscore twins on Twitter and Instagram and skit twins on Facebook um, or comment underneath this podcast slash YouTube video because it will eventually end up on YouTube. Yeah, or you can also email email us and the email address is skit.twins at gmail.com. Thank you very much, Chloe. That was fantastic. You're very welcome, Judith. Yep. Um, the weather's been quite good lately. It has. It's been very warm. The sun has been out and my guns have been out. Not like weapon guns, like my lack of arm muscles. You have good arm muscles. I like to think I do, but sometimes I feel like I don't. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, fam. Sometimes it's just kind of like wibbly wobbly and you're like, what? Yeah, but then you do like some curls or something and you just look at your arm and you're like, yes. It was a big yawn. Big fam. Big fam. Of the bicep curls. Yeah. I think, I was going to say I think they're my favourite, but they're not. That's a complete lie. Um... But yeah, the weather has been good. It has been like in the high teens, low twenties, which in Northern Ireland is unbelievably warm. Yeah. Um, Yeah, it's been enjoyable. I still have sunglasses on my head. (laughs) Managed South Africa without getting sunburned and I burnt the back of my neck babysitting on Friday because we spent the whole time in the park, which was fun. It was fun. I enjoyed it. We walked up to the waterfall and round and back down and I taught Holly, who's like five, how to read a map. She was so buzzing. She was like, I go this way, you have to follow me, I know where I'm going. And then she got lost. It was partly my fault that I told her the wrong way. I was like, yeah, I think we have to go this way. And then we started going this way and Chloe was like, ah, this is the wrong way. And I was like, yeah, this is the wrong way. Sorry, Holly. And then Holly was like, I'm so stupid, I got lost. And I was like, Holly, I told you to go that way. And she was like, but you're not stupid. And I was like, yeah, so neither are you. I'm stupid. Um, Because I told her the wrong way. But there we go, it's fine. Um, Poor map reading skills on my part. I believe it on the fact that I didn't actually have 100%. Like, I wasn't 100% sure where we were. But then I worked out where we were and I was like, all right, yeah. Yeah, I was wrong. I was very wrong. But I admitted my mistake. So that's a good life lesson. I've met your mistakes because it's a good thing to do. Yeah. That's Judith's wisdom for today. You're welcome. You know what my wisdom is? What's your wisdom? The voice in your head never needs a breath. So you can scream forever in your head. I I don't even know what to follow that up with. Like just, just think about it. Scream in your head now. That was a wee burp, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but mine, but you can make it. No, yeah, you can breath, make it take a breath, but that just doesn't just, actually yeah, need Yeah, it doesn't breath. need to. This podcast is brought to you by that little voice in your head that never needs to take a breath. That little voice in your head that never needs to take a breath. It can scream forever. This podcast is also brought to you by tongues. Tongues sitting in your mouth. Never comfortable. Just think about it right now, just where you're sitting. Think about how uncomfortable your tongue is. Try moving around. Still comfortable? No, I don't think it is. Move it around a little more. Is is your tongue feeling too big for your mouth? Just feel like it's swelling. Do you need to open your mouth? Just blurt something out right now. Just go blah 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 blah. Because that'll make your tongue feel better. It's like me when I sit on the bus, except I talk words. This podcast is also brought to you by buses, public transport, where the rules apply. Do not open the windows unless you're asked. Close the windows if you are asked. Do not eat. Do not talk loudly. And most of all, don't scream. Don't scream. (laughs) Finally, this podcast is brought to you by South Africa. South Africa! That's where we've been for the past two weeks. We're not going to talk about it anymore. South Africa. We totally are going to talk about it more. Yeah. You know. I'm, I apologise every time I talk about it now just because I'm like, oh, sorry, yeah, I was in South Africa. Did I mention that I was in South Africa? Because I was in South Africa. Didn't get any selfies with wee black children, though. <laughs> <laughs> I was there to help and work. I didn't see the point of that, and I'm really bad at selfies. Like, But I just... I always, see, I also always think it's really awkward to be like, can we take a selfie? I know. I just, Some oh. people are so comfortable with that, and I'm just like, not. But then also, if, if someone said that to me, I would probably roll my eyes. So that's probably why it's just my 
kind of just your thing yeah my view my my viewpoint on them i just think it's silly yeah i'd rather have my phone to someone and say can you take a picture of us yeah same actually same but again that's just me and it's probably because i'm rubbish at taking selfies so <laughs> we need to see toy story 4 we do and the next spider-man yeah because tom holland and tom hanks not that I like fancy Tom Hanks. He's just a lovely person. Yeah. He just seems like such a guy. Such a guy. Such a guy. Like such a nice guy. Like I think if I was an actress, if I was like a famous actress, I would be, I would strive to be like that. Yeah. I would want to just be like, you know what? This is pretty cool. Like if we've talked about it. We talked about it, sort of like how like movie people have to do. What do you call it? Like press tour, press tour things, and they're just in the same room all day. And then people come in and interview them. Like, I like to think I'd be able to sort of keep my cool and sort of like by the end of the day, whenever you've been asked, like, so describe the movie in like one sentence. Like, whenever you've been asked that like six billion times, you'd still sort of be able to be like, all right, it's like this, you know, and just sort of like have the banter and like just. Yeah. It's a bit like working with kids. Yeah. Because they always ask the same question again and again and again. You have to sort of keep that enthusiasm of, yeah, so we're going to play this game and then we'll play that game in a wee while. Yeah, I'm only here for today and then tomorrow someone different will be here. Yeah, isn't this really fun? Come on, let's go do something else. And like, oh, you want to go down the slide again? Okay, yeah, let's go down the slide again. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to go down again? Cool, yeah, let's go down the slide again. Yeah, you can pet my hair again. Sure, yeah, you can you can throw the ball at my face again. That was real fun whenever you did it last time. <laughs> and then you just cry on the inside. Yeah. I mean, people say I'm good with kids, but I mean, they don't see my internal thoughts. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, we can, we can use these tiny diggers and dig in the mud for like four hours. That's totally fun. Yeah. I no, mean, actually, that, that was, was cute. That, that was, was fun. It was yeah. fun. Um, yeah, there was a tractor. <laughs> we, tra we toy tractors and diggers. We were perfectly well at home at that point. Did you know that online arguments, whenever you make a typo and everyone's like, ah, that's like having an argument like face to face and you're like, no, but you're wrong. <laughs> or tripping over your words. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But then cool. like whenever you trip over your words, like what do you do whenever you trip over your words? Um, Like in an argument or just in general? Just in general. Or in an argument. Like I would be able to... I just kind of sigh. Yeah. And then try again. Sometimes I go, ugh. Or make a noise. But I try not to go, bleh, bleh. Yeah. I, I don't like whenever people go, bleh. Like that, whenever they make a mistake. Because it's I like, like don't, oh, don't retch don't, or like you pretend to so, book. Yeah, that's just gross. Like, no sentence. Sorry. sorry. Continue. You were, you have interrupted you, sorry. But I was going to say that, like, Something I've noticed recently is like, nothing's original anymore. Like, you think you have an original point and you're like, yeah, I'm going to put that on the internet because it's real funny. And then everyone's like, that's been done before. Yeah. And you're like, oh. <laughs> oh, well, I've never seen it before. And then they'll send you screenshots. And yeah, like, and, you'll be, and you'll be like, that's okay. I, I mean, I thought I was original, but that's, that's fine. That's okie dokie. Yeah. It just makes me sad sometimes because you try to be your own person and then people are like, you're not original, you're just a copy. And it's like, well, I am a twin and that is technically a copy. But, you know, if anyone should know what I'm talking about, it's me. So be quiet and go sit in your corner with your Muller corner and your square spoon. And square spoons are things, aren't they? Square space. Oh wait, no, it's like square forks. Yeah, they're dessert forks. Dessert, they're dessert forks. They're for something. Um, yeah. I say the originality thing because I was I was um, writing down ideas for the podcast and I wrote about how like water is like uh, there's no flavor to water, but yeah, we all have like a temperature preference for water because otherwise yeah. it's gross. And Judith was like, "I've read that before," and I was like, "Well, I hadn't." I'm nearly sure I have. Maybe I haven't. But you're right, because warm water and cold water taste different. But also, I prefer tap water to bottled water. Like, no matter what, I've never, I have, I have yet to taste a bottled water that I prefer to tap water. Yeah. 
tap water does just taste good. Although some tap water doesn't. But my home tap water tastes good. So I'm happy enough with that. Although drinking water with a straw is weird because it just... you. I think it's because we have straws and fizzy drinks so much and then you're drinking your water from a straw and you're expecting like lemonade or coke or something and then it's just water and you're like, oh. Yeah. It's like one of the biggest disappointments <laughs> in life. <laughs> yeah, that is true. But, I mean, you know, if you like to drink water through a straw, you do you. I think people who have sensitive teeth probably have to drink water through straws. But just, you know, treat yourself. Don't just drink treat water. Treat yourself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't drink, um, like, fruit juice or, like, fizzy drinks. Like, maybe try a milkshake. Some calcium help strengthen your teeth. Yeah. Um, don't drink those citric juices because they will um, damage the enamel on your teeth. We went to the dentist whenever we came back home from South Africa and the dentist said that my teeth were great you although said, we did have to scrape the back of my teeth and that always like it always hurts but it's one of those things where you're kind of like I can't make it look as if this hurts I have to I stay know, cool I flinched a few times and then he had the wee sucky thing the wee <laughs> thing to get rid of the saliva and he put it on my bottom teeth and I didn't think my bottom teeth were particularly sensitive uh, like it's usually my top teeth that would be more sensitive to cold things and stuff but he put up my bottom teeth and I jolted because it was just so cold oh, no. it was just so painful and he was like oh sorry and I was like hi uh, hi hello <laughs> oh yeah because he had his hands in yeah. my mouth well I just kind of I'm more sort of like I flick you know the way you flick your hand as if like oh it's fine I sort yeah. of did that and then like rolled my eyes as if like <laughs> whatever <laughs> stupid me <laughs> I do that a lot um yeah I don't think I have anything else. I'm just checking here to see if I have anything else. Interesting to say, except for whenever you get shot at by an arrow, not that like you ever have, it's like long distance stabbing. <laughs> Which I think is pretty weird. I was watching Doctor Who whenever I thought of that, because it was like a Robin Hood episode. Right enough. But people can throw knives too, so like that's all basically like that's the that's more, long distance stabbing. That's the more of this long distance stabbing. That's, no, that's really made me think. Why? Like, I don't know. I just never thought of that before. Long distance stabbing. It's quite a clever thought, Chloe. I do like to think that I am smart sometimes. You are very smart and I'm very proud of you for being smart. I'm proud of you for being smart too. So I'm not dumb? No. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm a little bit smart. Do you have anything else? No, that's, right now? that's me. That's okay. Um, thank you very much for listening. Do you have a Northern Irish phrase of the week? That's us now. That's us now. And that translates to uh, that's, that's us, us now. now. Um, which basically just means that's us. We're done. The end. Thank you very much. Thank you, please. Yep. Um, um, so yeah, uh, tweet us if you want that South Africa podcast. So it's S K I T underscore T W I N S skit underscore twins or skit under slash twins if you just want to be a wee bit different. Um, and we're also on Instagram. We're on Facebook as just skit twins. Although Facebook has been doing a thing, I don't know if it's just because my Instagram is uh, paired with my Facebook because I share pictures on it. Um, but it started bringing up like people I follow on Instagram who have like pages on Facebook. Oh, cool. Which is quite handy. Um, so maybe it'll just come up automatically. You can also email us at skit.twins at gmail.com. Uh, and that goes for, you know, if you have any questions or if you have, you know, if you just want to say, hey, I like your podcast, because that would be really nice. Or if you want to tell us where you're listening to your podcast from, because I know we have listeners in America and um, Australia. And that's pretty cool. If you're listening from South Africa, please, please get in touch and send us wine cups. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was going to say another thing and I can't remember what the other thing is. So everything is fine. Um, go do a thing this week that kind of freaks you out, but like not so much that you don't want to do it. Like something that you don't want to do, but like you're too scared to. But like, Chloe, we're going skydiving this week. Don't hurt people. Like, don't be like, oh, I've always wanted to punch my teacher in the face. Yeah, don't do that. Like, don't do anything illegal. Yeah. 
I think that should just be everybody's life motto. Yeah, don't do anything illegal. Don't do anything illegal. Thank you very much for... And don't scream on public transport. Yeah. I mean, unless it's an actual life or death situation, in which case, scream your wee lungs out. Um, it's probably the last sound you'll make. Oh, that's grim. dark. Grim. That's dark. That grim. We have to we have to end on something light. Um, the sun's pretty light. Moose. I do like a good moose, I have to say. I watched a video the other day of someone making moose with dark chocolate and water. Was it good? Yeah, it worked, but only for like a minute. Oh. Like, it's the right consistency and then it starts to harden. And then it's just, like, it's still nice, but it's just not moussey. Yeah. But yeah. How do you make mousse? Is it just like egg whites and... Egg whites and... Whatever your flavour. Whatever your flavour is, but also you can do it with like... I don't know, actually, I'm going to have to Google that. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Go on, sneeze. <gasps> sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> I sneezed two times. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, but it was. Anyway, uh, hopefully the next time we do a podcast, uh, neither of us will be sick. Neither of us will be sick. Yeah, because I'm sick, but I still did a triathlon today, so you know what? There's no excuses for anything. <laughs> I was sick and I still went to South Africa and helped little children. You probably made the little children sick. I probably <laughs> did, yeah, because we were like, we were there for the two weeks, and by the end of the first week, there was other people who were like sniffling and coughing, and I was like, what have I done? <laughs> this is my fault. It's okay, you're strengthening their immune systems. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Can't remember who said that. There's someone out there that said that. It was one of the kids. Oh, cute. I think we were talking about rugby. Legends. Unreal. Definitely go back. Highly recommend South Africa, particularly George. Good place. Um, been, yeah, go just... be awesome and don't do anything illegal. Yeah. Be good. Take care, be good. Make good choices. Make good choices and... because you're cool. And we respect you as buds, pals, buddies, friends. I wouldn't go as far as friends. Oh, just Com- pals. Comrades. 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 comrades or comrades? comrades? I think it depends if you want to pronounce the, like... Pronounce. <laughs> pronounce. Like, because R-A-D-E could be, like, raid, or R-A-D could be rad. And then just with, like, a silent E, the P, P and B are just, like... Le- you don't need the E's in them. You don't need any of the letters in Q either. Like, as in, like, to form a Q. Mind-blowing. Send us some more mind-blowing things on Twitter. At skit underscore twins. Or at squit. At squit. At skit under slash twins. Just be a good person. If you can be anything, be kind. I think this is now our fourth attempt at trying to end this podcast. We've but got we the just, coat on again. We, we, need just, to, we need to get our coats again. We need to... What? Oh yeah, because one time we did a thing and it was like, it was like whenever you're getting ready to leave a place and then and you, you put on your coat and again. then you sit down and yeah, yeah. Sorry. Take care, be good, make good choices. If you can be anything, be kind and get in touch if you can.